Hi, I'm Caitlin with Johnson Plastics Plus, and today I'm going to show you how to back paint clear acrylic signs. To paint these signs, you only need a few supplies. You need a piece of clear cast acrylic, some vinyl, and acrylic paint. So let me show you how it's done. So we've got our pre-cut cast acrylic sign, and I went ahead and cut out the vinyl already, our vinyl transfer and we're going to start by applying the vinyl transfer to the cast acrylic. So I'm gonna start by using my tool to peel up the corner of the masking, the plastic masking. We're only gonna peel off one side to start because we wanna keep uh, the other side clean for the paint. Once I've removed my masking, I like to use this self-healing Cricut mat to uh, line up my acrylic so that when I put the transfer on, I have lines to use to keep it straight. So I'm gonna put a little bit of painter's tape on the corners to keep the clear acrylic from shifting around while working on it. You don't need much tape, just one in two corners, one piece in two corners. And then I'm going to start aligning my vinyl transfer. So once I've got it where I want it, I'm going to run a piece of painter's tape down the center to keep it in place. We're gonna use the hinge method to apply our vinyl to our clear acrylic sign. And to do that, we're going to fold over our vinyl transfer just a little bit, but not denting it in, um, and start peeling back our paper to reveal the vinyl on the transfer tape. So once we've got the paper removed from the back of the vinyl transfer, we're going to take our scissors and carefully remove the paper. without scratching the clear acrylic. And then we are going to use our squeegee and slowly transfer the vinyl to the clear acrylic. You want to make sure that you burnish the vinyl, which is where you use the squeegee to rub back and forth on the vinyl to make sure that it easily removes from the transfer tape. Once we've done this side, we'll go ahead and move to the other side. We're going to take our painter's tape off. and then fold over our other side and remove the paper from the transfer tape. So we've removed the paper from the other side of our transfer and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing and slowly use our squeegee to apply the vinyl to the clear acrylic. So we're gonna burnish the side just like we did the other side to make sure that the vinyl is stuck down to the clear acrylic so that we can easily remove the transfer tape. Okay, 
So we are going to start at one corner and peel back the transfer tape and keep it close to the acrylic and slowly pull it back. So once we've removed the transfer tape, we're ready to start painting the back. So we're gonna flip it over and remove the masking from the back, just like we did the front. Using my tool here, I'm gonna peel the corner a little bit and then pull it up. So I'm gonna place some paper towel beneath our acrylic sign to help me see where I need to paint and also to keep from getting paint on my cutting mat here. So to paint the back, I'm going to use a foam brush that you can get from any craft or hobby store. And then I have some gold paint that I'm going to apply to the back. I'm going to actually just squirt it onto the acrylic piece and then paint it uh, to fill in where I'd like the color to go. So when I do this, I like to go in a diagonal pattern, but you could go from left to right, top to bottom, whatever design you'd like to see. Once I've got all the paint on here that I think that I need, I'll flip it over just to make sure that I've covered everywhere that the vinyl is. So you can see here that I got it everywhere that I have the vinyl applied. So I'm gonna set it back down and we are gonna wait for the first coat to dry. So our first coat is dry and we're ready to go ahead and apply our second coat. I'm gonna do the same thing, just squirt some paint onto the acrylic and use my foam brush and fill in where I think that it needs more paint to make it more solid instead of opaque. So we've let the second coat dry and we're gonna flip it over and make sure that we've filled in everywhere that we need to and we've got a nice even coat. And as you can see, we've covered everything. You can't see any of the paper towel through the background. Um, so it's just that simple and our sign is complete. So here we have our finished piece and you can find our clear cast acrylic and all other DIY project supplies that you need at jpplus.com. Again, I'm Caitlin with Johnson Plastics Plus. Thanks for watching.